Hi friends, welcome to grade 6 EQAO math practice and uh, this is Into Math. My name is Tonya and we're meeting here every Tuesday practicing for grade 6 EQAO. Today, as usual, we will be taking up two questions. The first question has to do with a rectangular prism and the other question is about percent and fractions. Let's look at the first question now. In this problem, you're being asked to find the height of a rectangular prism given the volume, the width, and the length. In order for us to find the height, having all of these other dimensions is to set up an equation. So. 192, which is the volume, the total volume of the rectangular prism, is equal to uh, the width times the length and times the height. That's the formula to determine the volume of any rectangular prism. So I'll multiply 8 and 6, and then I will divide 192 by that number in order to isolate the height. So 8 times 6 is 48 and 192 divided by 48 is 4. So the answer to this question is 4. The height of this prism is 4 centimeters. In this question, you're being asked to determine which one of these fractions is equivalent to 8%. We remember that percent are always out of 100. So 8% is a portion of 100, right? The total. So if my total is 100, then I have 8 100 as a fraction of 100%. And I can reduce it by 2. And I'll get 4 over 50. And if I continue reducing this further, then I will divide it again by 2. And I'll get 2 over 25. So once again, 8% out of 100 can be recorded as a fraction, 8 out of 100, 8 100. Both of these numbers can be divided by 2 to get 4 over 50, and then 4 over 50 can be divided by 2 again to get 2 over 25. In order to get from this to this number faster, you could have divided by 4 right away. 8 divided by 4, 100 divided by 4, and you would get 2 over 25, whichever works better for you. Your goal is to reduce to the simplest fraction. This cannot be reduced any further. This answer is the correct one. 2 out of 25 is 8%. So thanks for joining me again today. Uh, this is Into Math, and we're doing weekly math EQAO grade 6 practice here on our YouTube channel. Subscribe not to miss the next lesson, and also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Do not forget that if you want to improve your math significantly, visit our website www.intomath.org. There is some awesome stuff there to help you succeed in your math. See you next time.